What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing some love readings for all the signs of on the sign of Gemini. And in this reading, I'm going to be going over current situation, past situation, um, what this person likes about you, some messages from them to you, and some other random messages and stuff, so let's see what they have to say for the sign of Gemini. bottom is the five of pentacles um i feel like some of you guys might have cut this situation out of your life or you've like recently thought about it um whoever this person is you're dealing with however some of you guys feel like this is something that was meant to be with the two of cups and the wheel of fortune you feel like this is something that's faded something that's part of destiny um this person is your other half um someone you can't really move get away from something I mean, I feel like some of you guys have tried to move on from this, but it's just like something you can't really get over. Um, it's really been slow moving for some of you guys. It's really been a situation where there's been some things that maybe haven't been the greatest. Um, you might have been dealing with somebody who was really confused either with their feelings or what they wanted and people, like random people or a variety of people, for lack of better words. I feel like some of you guys... Um, wanted to move on you've kind of in this energy of <clears throat> moving away from things that no longer serve you wanting things to be fair and just in this situation and um the energies that i feel like some of you guys are dealing with is um libra aquarius taurus or cancer so those could be in any part of the chart any part of the scenario um i feel like someone's kind of immature Someone maybe needed to grow up a little bit and maybe you moving away from this situation or you staying. Um, some of you guys definitely did move away from this in the past or maybe you've thought about it or have had this conversation with this person about moving moving on or moving forward. And um, you're just wanting things to be even. It says, baby, you know I'm your biggest fan. It says... You get in your feelings to who's the villain. And then you have, I needed to lose you to find me. And then it says, I'm better when I'm with you. You don't understand what I'm going through. And I can't blame nobody but myself. I know you're tired of waiting. You need someone like me. And I didn't mean what I said. You stopped me right in my tracks. And you put me right in my place. So I feel like you guys did take a break from this person at some point. And um, they just feel like they can't get any better than you. They Maybe you guys are on a break right now. And they just feel like they're... A better person because of you or when they're with you um, they definitely have some regrets about some things that were done or said you know um, I feel like somebody had some things that they needed to deal with either in their life or just on a personal level um, it says you had me but you lost me I'm not angry I'm exhausted and then you have too much I've been going through too much BS hurt in life and love and you said home I feel comfortable with you I can do myself and then it says past regression genuinely wish others well obstacle through it all no matter what happens you will succeed and then waiting I'm still waiting for you we can make this work it's like the sense of home that you give this person but they're 
going through a lot. Um, there's a need to maybe get over some past hurts and, um, you know, tell yourself or tell themselves that no matter what this is, that everything's going to be okay. Um, this person's line of work could be a career advisor, community activist, bus driver, someone in the food industry, an education, and someone who could possibly work in, excuse me, in construction. Um, something about this relationship is iconic. This person wants you to have patience with them. Um, there has been a lot of gossip surrounding this situation with this person. It says infinite divine love. This is a divine connection. So if you thought that, you were correct. This person is your soulmate, possibly from even past lives. And then you have challenges and build. So I feel like there's a need to kind of overcome some challenges either in your life or in their own life. And um, make peace with their past and, um, you know, maybe not listen to what other people have to say so much. Um, your guys' spirit animals, you have the dog and the pig. So look up those spiritual meanings. What some of the things this person likes about you is your cooking, your optimism, your company, your loyalty, your voice, and your psyche, like how you think, how your brain works, type of energy. Um, they basically feel like they're a better person when they're with you. Um, you cause them to kind of recognize some things about themselves. Um, you know, cause them to stay, to, like take a step back and think of the bigger picture. And I feel like this person wants to kind of let things go because I feel like this person genuinely feels like you're meant to be together. There's just some things that they need to figure out. Like, how are we going to bring this together? You know, how can we be um, successful? And it's definitely going to be getting over some things from the past or forgiving some things from the past for some of you guys. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a good night.